Hello and welcome to the Cricket Digest channel. Leg before wicket. One of the modes of dismissal in cricket which has been in the news for quite some time now. Recently, former Australian cricketer Ian Chappell suggested a few changes to the LBW dismissal which has sparked a huge debate among cricket experts. He is of the opinion that pitching and impact factors in LBW should be discarded. Well, before going any further, let us take a look at how LBW has evolved in the game of cricket. When we take a look at the history pages, we find that the cricket law was formed for the first time in 1744. Interestingly, there is no mention of LBW dismissal in this version of law book. The LBW rule was introduced in 1774 when the law book was revised. According to this new law, the batsman was out if he deliberately stopped the ball from hitting the stumps. Note that there was no mention of where the ball should pitch for the LBW dismissal. The Marlborough Cricket Club, who is the current custodian of cricket laws, took the responsibility of cricket laws in 1788. In 1839, when a further revision was made to laws of cricket by the MCC, the lbw rule was changed again this was when the pitching factor was introduced according to this rule the ball had to pitch in line with the stumps and would have hit the stumps to give the batsman out lbw according to this update the batsman did not have to bother about the deliveries pitching outside the line of off stump or leg stump with time the batsman started exploiting this loophole They started using their pads for the deliveries pitching outside the line of off stump which made the life of the bowlers very difficult. It was of course a negative tactic by the batsman. Several talks were held to change this law in 19th century but only in 1937 the law was changed. 98 years after the previous revision was made. According to this update the batsman now could be given out lbw for the deliveries pitching outside the line of off stump however the ball had to hit batsman's body in line with the stumps post this update the batsman adjusted accordingly and started bringing their front pad outside the line of off stump to make sure that the ball did not strike their pad in line with the stumps This again became an issue around the 1950s and 1960s. Hence, the MCC revised the law again in 1980. Now, the batsman could be given out if the ball hit the pad outside the line of off stump also, provided that the batsman was not offering the shot. Well, this is the rule which stands as of today. With the invention of T20 cricket, flat pitches and smaller grounds the game has become batting friendly in the last couple of decades in odis the average scoring rate has gone up quite considerably in the previous decade due to which a lot of experts are of the opinion that the contest between the bat and ball is not fair anymore this has made a lot of people to point at lbw rule Coming back to Ian Chappell's statement, he believes that by eliminating the pitching and impact factors, the fairness can be restored in the game. He is of the opinion that the pads are there to save the batsman from injury, not dismissal. He wants the batsman to use the bat more than hiding it behind the pads. A lot of other people are also of the same opinion as the basic of the game is perceived as The bowler tries to ball at stumps and the batsman should be able to hit it with his bat. By eliminating both pitching and impact factors, there are fears that the game might become very slow. As the chance of getting out LBW gets increased, the batsman may start to play more cautiously, which might result in low scoring games. This may not be spectator friendly and the commercial value of the game might go down. Hence, the authorities may not think of making this change. What do you guys think about it? Do let us know in the comment section. Until next video, goodbye.